It's the end of the day. We're just hanging out here back at the hotel, uh, getting ready to go eat dinner. We're watching some Family Guy before we go out because we, we like educational TV, as you can tell. It uh, gives us something to kind of rant about during the day and joke around about. Anyway, tomorrow we should have some pretty good film if the weather holds. We're calling for some rain tonight. We don't know how much or if it's actually going to do it yet. Uh, one thing's for sure, it probably will rain tomorrow, tomorrow evening. So hopefully we can get in a few hours today. We did get a pretty good start on this job today. It was kind of a late start. So uh, we had to had to work here because we're still waiting on those chains. You can see from yesterday's video, it was Warren's video. I got that video per posted early this morning. So enjoy today's video. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I get lost for words and tired. Been up since before 4 a.m. So I'm ready to eat, uh, watch some TV, and go to bed. Guys, once again, thank you so much for all the Logger Through Red's orders. If you haven't ordered, better do so. Check it all out. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. Look for some new designs to come out probably January, uh, late January of next year, which is like a month away. So look for some new designs come out then. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe on our videos here to our channel. Uh, I'm tired, kind of disoriented. Uh, follow us on all our social outlets, turn on Logging Yellow Seat, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Logger Threads, loggerthreads.com. Logger Threads on Instagram. You can see all the posts we do there. And uh, everything we do at Timber Tracker, which... We need to be more active there because that's been a big project that's been on for a few years and we failed to do as much as I need to with it. Anyway, thanks so much, guys. See you. We pulled out about 4 a.m. this morning. We're over here at uh, Deerfield, Missouri, right on the state line, getting a little fuel. Fuel's actually coming down in price quite a bit, but it keeps coming down. Oh boy. Still way too much. Uh, we do quite a bit of work over here in this area. And I always like to stop here and get fuel. It's actually a pretty good place to eat, too. My messy back of the truck. We'll go in, pay, grab something, get on the way. Bright and early up here. We're going to stack up some of these logs of decks. Deck's pretty firm, of course it still looks like it could be muddy pretty easily. Pretty easily could be muddy. I'd really like to get this job wrapped up. Way we can be kind of back on schedule. As I've said before, the tire chains are really waiting on them's kind of really throwing us off schedule here, but so be it, we still got logs to sell here. Logs on the deck to sell, logs to move out. And of course, they can't get to these logs from the, the previous sell, so we've got to get them packed over here so they can load them out because, well, as you can imagine, it's pretty pretty sloppy when it starts to thaw out. So I'm going to go ahead and start trying to get some stacked over here and get them ready to go. It doesn't get much more urban than this right here. This is pretty urban. <laughs> we, uh, pull them up a little more. We already had the cops called on us once here. A concerned neighbor thought we were just over here cutting trees at will. Of course, that wasn't hard to straighten that out. But anytime you work in subdivisions like this, you're gonna have you're going to have some concern parties. And really this piece of ground here is getting ready to be developed. And of course, uh, the gentleman that owns it got a hold of us about cutting the logs on it. Pretty soft out here. Greasy. Can't see anything. Hold on. Got the machine shut off up here. Of course, we're still walking up this little glare and kind of see some of the trees we're getting out. Excuse me. Had a beard hair get in my mouth. I think on this job alone we've got 
I think there's 160 trees on this little 20 acre piece. Of course, you can see there's some pretty good logs in here. It's going to be a heck of a veneer sale. Heck of a set of veneer. And some of these things, oh, that guy cut a little bad. That's okay. Pretty good logs. And some of these, pretty good sized trees. You can see here, little bruiser there, he's a big boy. He's 25 inches there on the little end. But like I said, couldn't be any more suburban than where we are. Hope we don't ruin somebody's little archery range. Now, uh, room to stack these is going to be a bit of an issue. We don't have a whole lot of room to work with. But we can make two separate log landings. There's two entrances, entrances to this place. One here, one on the upper end. It'll be pretty slow going because it's pretty brushy in there. A lot of trees are hanging up when they fall, which when you're cutting trees of this caliber isn't necessarily a bad thing. It kind of ensures that you don't bust anything on the way down. Like I said, dandy set of, dandy set of trees. It'd be a heck of a sale. And this was kind of a bid deal. I, I guess it was. We didn't know it was. We were the first ones to look at it, and the gentleman wanted to lump sum figure. So we told him what we'd give him for him. And we didn't know anybody else was looking at him, but he had three other people look at him, and uh, we were the ones that got him. So pretty good set. A lot to come out of here. Calling for rain tonight up here in the Kansas City area. We're working on the winch right now. The winch has got an air bubble in the line, so it's not wanting to engage all the time, so we got to get it addressed. Just want to do that tonight, so we're ready to go for in the morning. Got the panel hitch unhooked up there. We'll take the bucket off. We got to do a little crossing work down here. We got a little creek cross I'm going to make. We got to cut some, cut some logs and lay across there where we can cross it. We'll try to get that on film tomorrow. So, yeah, pretty good set. Pretty good set.